Jesus, don't know what's wrong with me. Hello darlings and welcome back to another weekly vlog. If you're new here, hi, hello, my name is Elisa and welcome. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button, pretty please, don't be rude. Anyways, start of a new weekly vlog. What's up guys? Hi, hello. We are off to an event with Style Pro and then we're off to another event after that the saw six movie i believe it is screening anyways we're off and out today done my face looking cute wearing a cute outfit so yeah um let's go people have voted that as their top product <laughs> because for some people it is a real issue especially i get a very bad back <laughs> a very bad back and so it's really helpful for that and on the subject of staying fully charged to have a good life for many of us means having a fully charged phone <laughs> especially me so our mirror with charger inside we're really chuffed to also launch so as you can imagine i have a, a lot of thank yous First of all, I have to thank the incredible Style Pro team. Hey guys, so I finished at the Style Pro event. There wasn't anybody there that I knew. I was hoping there would be, but it's fine, it's okay. So now I'm on my way to the Saw movie screening, actually. And it's a 12 minute walk from here, so I'm actually just gonna take a walk. Take a walk. 12 minutes usually means 10 minutes if I don't get lost. And um, Google Maps doesn't send me to hell. So I need to try and find somewhere to stop to top up my lippy. And then we move. Today it's like humid but not humid. Like hot but not hot. So I'm wearing this jacket even though I don't need to be. I'm like, this is like my new favorite jacket. I don't want to sweat on my new favorite jacket. Wait, what is that? Um, that movie, the saw screening starts at 8. Um, so apparently drinks start from 7. So I think 7.45 is a, is a good time to get there. Get a drink. I've already had two drinks at um, the Style Pro event. I haven't even put in where I'm going. Cam Yard Hotel. It's an 11 minute walk. Zara. Oh, it's that way. Okay. I'm gonna try too, it's nice. This is why I don't like to drink when I'm by myself. Because a tipsy Lisa by herself is not a good thing. Anyways, I've got goodie bag in tow. And I will see you guys when I get Um, we 
with this framing. Um, where does it fit in the modern small universe? Um, I heard somebody outside say 1.5, I think that's about right. So you've got to sort of place this between the original Saw and Saw 2. Because it actually is an unknown chapter in the life of Jigsaw in his own personal game. Toby Bell's back, which is great. <laughs> I mean, he's such a horrifying guy. I think he did. Good morning, guys. Rise and shine. Um, what's today? happy thursday happy thursday i last saw you guys yesterday at the saw event and the style pro event we are off to the Too Faced store on carnaby street in london so they invited me down to actually get shade match i'm super excited because I absolutely love Too Faced as a brand. I literally use their products all the time. Concealer, foundation, eyeshadow palette, blushes. I literally love Too Faced. So very excited to be visiting their store today. Hence why the no makeup, but I've just got light makeup. I feel like I've found my no makeup look. A little cute flick eyeliner eyelashes and a little bit of brows. Now I'm feeling to go back to Danita to get um, my brows microbladed so that might be happening sometime in the near future but anyway my appointment is at 11 i'm running a tad late just a tad i'm wearing my zara jacket my loewe crop top and then this um zara cargo skirt and then my a6 trainers and then carrying my trusty brandon blackwood bag oh i think my uber is outside so yeah off we go and let's go Yes. But you want to try, even though you know your yeah. colors, you still want to try? Yeah, I want to try other stuff because I haven't <laughs> really, I've kind of been using those shades for the past couple of years, so I don't mind trying to see what, if I have a better shade match, that would be Okay, good. and yeah. with concealer, do you want to be quite a bit lighter? Uh, yes. Bright like. under eye, but I also like yellowy undertones as well, so yeah. Okay. If sand is one shade lighter than latex, okay. So okay. How long have you been working on yeah, this? Yeah, me too. Makeup, long time. Oh, okay. How long have you been working on makeup? I don't like my skin to go. I studied makeup for 16 months. Oh, okay. A long time. Actually, yeah. the undertone might not necessarily be the next one. But I think this is a good So this is Tesla and this is... I feel like this is going to oxidise quite Yeah, much. it might, yeah. And I can see as it's already setting into your skin, I actually think it's going to be quite red. Yeah. Whereas this, I think, has enough of a golden tone in it yeah. to give you that glow. Do you agree? I agree. But obviously, you know how colours are. Yeah. You know, if you have one of those skins where they oxidise a lot, yeah. and you know how obviously it turns out. Could you always look at your phone because that's obviously where you feel? Um, so, no, I'm just looking at my phone because that's what I have right. Also, look at it in the phone as well because obviously, yeah. you're in a photo, all you do is everything you do is yeah. film. You need to see how you're looking at your lights. I really like this colour. Like, yeah, I'd say this is a bit too red. I think it's too red. I think it's an oxidizer. Even if that oxidizes, it would be a slight bit warmer. But when you've got mahogany, mahogany is quite, it's interesting because mahogany generally is quite a red tone. Oh my god! That's really nice. Yeah. So this is really nice. I just think that's not what I love to do. Um, and there's just a lot of colours, like it's overwhelming mm -hmm. when you go in with like you do do makeup, so you're going to show like, I don't know, like yeah. well, these three colours look really nice. Like, <laughs> and then obviously the oxidised. But you've got, I've written three concealers down, so between okay. those concealers, like you might So we've just come to lunch, we're at um, San Marco on top of Selfridges. It's getting a cheeky spot of lunch, yeah. you know. Absolutely starving. Some pasta to the trick mm -hmm. and a little cocktail. That's why not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> let me get the mini burger then. <laughs> and then let me um I will also get some fries with it. How big is, is it? Yeah. Is it quite big? Uh, 
this is like vegetable. No, the individual. Yeah. 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 Individual. We like to eat. Yeah, so do I. Yeah, let me get normal portion. Yeah. Yeah. No, I want mine truffle chips. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Yes, thank you. Diamond took me out to lunch, guys. Get you a man that pays for your meal. Came to lunch after the Too Faced. Um, yes. Went to Too Faced. It was really good. We stocked up. We got a good amount of stuff. We did. Did you? We did. did you get extras. Yeah. Oh, girl. I was. I was, I was like. I don't get one of those. <laughs> one of those. <laughs> one of those. <laughs> <laughs> Diamonds over there drinking beer. For those of you guys that well, know, what's wrong with this girl? This is so refreshing. Refreshing. It's so good. Beer. Trust me. Peroni. Peroni. Next time gotcha. you see it, remember Diamond put you on. Okay. morning guys i'm all dolled up and ready to go and running very late when do i not say that it's sometimes really tacky but listen today i just could not i just could not i i i just could not okay so i'm off to vamp power brunch um this morning this afternoon i would say this morning actually started at 10 and it's now like gone past 12 but I woke up at 6 a.m. this morning and I could not, I could not. I just didn't have any energy. I wasn't feeling well. I managed to revive myself from the grave and get up. And yeah, I'm here now. So I'm only going to be at the branch for like an hour and a bit, maybe like two hours. But um because i believe it finishes at two hopefully they're running a little behind time but um yeah so i'm off and i'm ready to go now i'm wearing this dress it's from revolve i featured it in a revolve haul last year i can't remember the exact brand i'm just deciding whether i'm gonna wear boots or these little fur furry heels that i have from zara so anyways yeah that's me for today I actually need to leave. I'm gonna order an Uber to the train station to make it faster because I gotta go, okay? Oh, every time I say something, I need the energy producer. Every nominated producer, chief of staff at World Packer Entertainment and Media. just before i'm not sure you have watched it some of you haven't but yeah that is what i'm on my way to do um so the vamp power brunch was really good well what i caught of it anyway um the last bit that i caught of it was really good we had a really really good speaker i can't remember her name her name would be somewhere in the vlog but um try to catch some footage and yeah it was really really good um i left not early i would say just like a tad bit before everybody else left just because i wanted to come home and like just sit down a little bit and just chill before i had to go back out 
took it all. I didn't even want to go. So I had some McDonald's, changed my outfit. I'm just wearing this denim dress from Bershka. They said wear something blue. I don't know if this greening is even a dress up thing, but I'm assuming so. I just dress up anyways. I kind of just do that all the time. I'm meeting Diamond there. She said she was like 20 minutes away. So basically everybody here, um, but for those that haven't seen Blue Therapy, we're getting really excited up front, that's what we love. Um, but for those that haven't seen it, Blue Therapy takes you on a story where you've got couples that are sitting down with relationship coaches, they're going through all the trials and the tribulations of their relationship, putting it on the absolute line, and ultimately it's going to test it and it's going to be a make or break situation, and it's an absolute privilege to be standing here. No for us, I think we just had to just bear raw, didn't we? And just like, just kind of like express how we feel within our relationship and so on. But yeah, it's a, uh, yeah, it's a lot. Was that a bit of a nerve experience, feeling like you had to kind of bear all? Because I suppose as well, when you're sat down speaking to... Good morning guys and happy Thursday and we are off to Pilates this morning so yeah let's go I don't want to be late let's go let's go let's go let's go, let's go. I've been back from Pilates for quite some time actually. Um, I'm now about to jump into the shower. Um, I'm off to an event that my management is hosting. They asked me to be there so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm very tired. I really want to stay at home but a baby's gotta do what a baby's gotta do. I just wanted to show you guys quickly um some bath products i've been using i know in my last video i showed you guys the bath products when i'm doing like my everything shower you know when i want to smell good feel good but these are just my everyday bath products this is the notorum salicylic acid body wash the perfect body wash so i just started using this one 
um, after I finish using the smoother glycolic acid body wash. I really love this because it just maintains like a healthy glow about my skin. But since this one is finished, I actually wanted to go ahead and try this one. I think they brought it out recently. So I need to stop waffling and actually get into the shower. I'm so low on energy, but that's because I haven't been taking my vitamins. So, Anyways. I gotta go. I am out of the shower. I've done my skincare routine and all of that jazz. So on the days that I work out or I'm out and about, just, you know, prone to sweating, I like to always go in with an exfoliator. I try to exfoliate every two to three days. I don't exfoliate every day. Obviously today I worked out, so I went in with my Arami Onyx Polish. So this is like a body scrub like a polish and it actually doesn't have a scent to it but this is what it looks like so I got a couple of gifted um items products from Arami a couple of months ago I believe but this is actually a clarifying black soap for clear even skin I basically kind of like use it as a scrub just to make sure that my skin stays clean and clear and i'm getting rid of any dirt and all of that sweat I'm just making sure at all times you know i'm actually taking care of my skin and then i have recently started to use this this is the dr dennis gross exfoliating body treatment this is what it looks like i got this in pr from um cult beauty some time ago and i basically started to use this after i finished my ren skincare aha exfoliating body cream or serum or whatever it's called so i was like you know what since i finished using that i thought perfect time to try this so i'm just going to use it with you guys here let's just open it like so you just basically massage all over your skin so you start with it folded like this this is what it looks like and you just rub all over your skin like this and then as the it starts to get dry then you basically like open these sheets i'm trying to do my back because that is one of the areas that i feel like I suffer with and then I'm just gonna do my legs and my thighs <laughs>
Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Now, important question. Do you feel like a twat? No. no. Good, good. Everything's going swimmingly. So, you, I think. Um, <laughs> Hello guys and happy, um, what is today? Wednesday. <coughs> <coughs> if I start to do that, if I'm doing that a lot in this haul, just in this haul, in, in this video, just ignore me, okay? Like, um, I'm currently trying to recover from a cold. My neighbor's baby is crying. Talk of my cold as well. I was feeling just rough. I have an event to go to today. Adiola Patrons. I don't want to say birthday. Is it a birthday dinner? Birthday dinner slash event dinner she's launching i believe she is launching today or launching a her own skincare brand that she's coming out with but today's her birthday as well so all of that on the same day so that is where we're off to i'm actually running late it said 5 30 and i don't know whether they meant 5 30 prompts but they said 5 30 it's five o'clock look at me listen i had a deadline today to upload my pretty little thing video and been so busy this whole week and i was busy yesterday that i didn't have time to actually edit it so that's what i was doing all of today and i only managed to jump in the shower and try and get ready now so it it, it just it is what it is like right now i'm just gonna try and hurry up and get ready i hope i don't take too long because it's already so late i bought this gorgeous little dress uh, this is a little dress it's not a little dress it's like this sequin sheer long sleeve dress i think it's supposed to be a um a dupe is it of the christopher no is it christopher Espo? Espo? it's supposed to be a dupe of a designer dress the designer currently has slipped my mind however i saw this on public desire and i was like oh my gosh it's so nice i wanted to wear it to a wedding one time but it was actually too hot so when i saw this dress i was like you know what this is the perfect dress for this event the dress code said neutral glam so i got it in a size 12 and thank god it fits perfectly like i said i got it from public desire so i will link it down below and it was only 60 pounds compared to the actual price of the real dress the designer dress so i literally ordered it yesterday the cut off time for next day delivery public desire is 11 i literally ordered at 10 58 10 59 and it came first thing this morning i was so impressed and so pleased and it fits as well i think i need to take off this wig because nude and red or that shimmery nude i think it's a bit too much and then put on my black wig that is what i'm gonna do because yeah obviously i don't want to be late but also at the same time 
I don't want to look like a clown so I want to try take um, some pictures today as well so I'm gonna get my spray bottle with water I should really put some oil in this and I'm just gonna mix it up and mix it up and take off this wig you're not supposed to take off your wig any other way don't just be ripping it off because you're ripping your edges off as well i obviously learned that the hard way so yeah let me get ready and hopefully i'll see you guys when i'm done i wanted to do a tiktok outfit of the evening that's clearly not gonna happen so yeah <laughs> hello guys hi oh my god i just got something in my eye i just came here to end the vlog this might be the most random vlog you've ever seen but 
I had footage so I was like I didn't want to not put the footage out so if this is just one of those random vlogs I do apologize please just bear with hopefully the next vlog will be a lot more structured vlogs are not really supposed to be structured anyway I don't know anyways and I wanted to end this vlog this is a vlog I wanted to end the vlog with a little haul so I've got some bits I picked up from Zara some bits I just picked up in general and then PR bits that I actually want to show you guys so that is what we're gonna do let me just put my phone to charge while I'm doing this Chanel me Apple shelf please only if I will need this because I had some of wealthy went into Zara and I wanted to pick up some basics so that is what I did they're basically just these long sleeve ribbed tops and this is what they look like this is in a size small and it was $15.99 so this is like a dove kind of gray color which I really like goes with denim goes with black goes with gray goes with a lot of colors for my autumn winter wardrobe these are the type of tops that you need well i need anyway i just throw these on they're just very um form fitting and they look very very nice so you can kind of like dress them up or dress them down i wore the black one the other day i went um out to eat on a little cheeky day with a little mini skirt and boots and then a jacket on top and it was like super but super cute outfit so yeah i absolutely love I love these tops so this is the dove grey one then I picked up this one this is more of like a charcoal dark grey teal kind of colour same thing size small this is what this one looks like then I picked up this black one which is actually dirty ew that's disgusting it's dirty I wore this one the other day and it still smells of my perfume and the last thing I picked up in Zara was a perfume I don't know if you guys um watch any of my shorts that I upload also I was gonna say if you're watching this please do make sure you are still subscribed or you turn notifications on for my video because lately YouTube has just been I don't know whether it's the algorithm YouTube has just been messing with me so there's like half of you that basically don't get notified that my videos are out or that I've uploaded a video or maybe YouTube has unsubscribed you from my channel I don't know what it is but make sure that you're subscribed and you turn notifications on so you guys know when I'm uploading a video nowadays I'm posting videos and it's like hello can anybody see me as a content creator one of the hardest things is fighting the algorithm anyways i posted about this in one of my shorts and also on tiktok and also on instagram so this is the velvet shadow eau de parfum oh eau de parfum no wonder why it lasts so long this has notes of gourmand bergamot 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 is that how you pronounce it? I need to Google how to pronounce that. Jasmine and marshmallow. It smells so damn good. I picked this up for $22.99. And I picked this up really because it is an exact dupe of this perfume. So this perfume is Parfum de Mali. Um, this is the Oriana scent. I don't know if I've ever showed this to you guys before but it literally smells exactly the same the notes are very very similar the only difference is this one retails the most expensive price i've seen this retail for is 250 pounds and i actually picked it up in new york last year and it was 250 dollars so and this is 22.99 dare i say dare i say i feel like this has a longer lasting power than this one i will be buying this again and again and i really hope this is not a scent that they discontinue or it's just like limited edition because if so i'm going to stock up on at least two of these 
because what this scent goes crazy it's absolutely amazing and the way i use perfume i definitely have to stock up on it i was watching kyra's video or her tiktok the other day i can't remember there is another fragrance in this line she said that was the true amour was a dupe for the sister fragrance to this which is delina so it's the same bottle but a lighter pink i smelt true amour in zara but i haven't smelt delina in a long time so i cannot say for sure that it's an exact dupe but if you guys haven't seen that you might want to check out that one as well if this particular scent is not your vibe but this scent is so it's the marshmallow in this as well and marshmallow is also a note that is in this fragrance as well love by killian don't be shy you are this scent if they're all very similar come and eat me up lick me like a lollipop vibes i know that's very graphic but oh so good so that is everything that i got from zara i ordered some things off of asos i just picked up the glycolic acid toning solution from the ordinary i use this on my armpits i just use this as a deodorant and it also helps to lighten my armpits i've also been using it on this scar that i've managed to collect recently just don't ask me but yeah so my old one was finished also from asos i picked up the avino skin relief body oil spray absolutely love this it smells good leave your skin feeling so smooth it's a lingering smell as well absolutely just love this and the last thing i picked up from asos is another fragrance actually and this is the kayali vanilla royale sugared patchouli or de parfum this has notes of vanilla sharab salute golden rum creme brulee brown sugar royal oud and sugared patchouli i had to pick this up because this is so good i saw this on asos the other day and it was actually on sale this usually retails for about 79 pounds 80 pounds i believe i definitely paid way more for it in sephora in the Ryan Sephora. Anyway, I picked this up for £49. 40% 40 off on some Kayali fragrances. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm not going to get a deal like that anywhere else. The way it just smells, like I cannot even describe this scent to you. I went to Superdrug um, today actually. I picked up the Got To Be Glued Blasting Free Spray. I like to actually use this to hold my curls. Um, when i'm curling my hair from super drug i picked up this sanctuary spa body scrub and this is from the lily and rose collection i absolutely love this i haven't used this for quite some time because i had a lot of scrubs that i received in pr and stuff like that so i was like i might as well use them i like to use this as like my everyday scrub i usually kind of exfoliate every two to three days and I like using this. Then I picked up this from Superdrug, another fragrance. Jesus, don't know what's wrong with me. I had to pick it up because it was £20. And I want to use this as like my everyday scent. This is Vera Wang Princess. I won't lie to you, I definitely kind of picked it up for the bottle as well. I remember when I was younger, my mom having this perfume in her wardrobe. And I literally used to go to her room all the time, try and like steal the perfume and put it in my room. Then she'd come in my room and take it back. And I used to use it all the time. I don't know why this perfume just gives me so much nostalgia. It just reminds me of my teenagehood it was 20 pounds for 100 ml so i was like um i kind of have to pick it up and look at the bottle please oh just gorgeous a very wine princess i'm like it's just so me and it smells good as well it's a good for an everyday scent now let's get into the pr stuff because there's a lot of them. I was saving them to do a PR haul to show, show you guys. I don't, now that I think about it, I don't think there's actually that much stuff. This was from a brand called... This is from a brand called D. Sarrell. They are a jewellery brand, accessories brand. 
and they reached out to me asking me if they could send me some bits and I said absolutely because they had some real gorgeous bits I'm actually wearing um some of the pieces right now so they sent me this um bracelet i cannot remember the name so this is one of the bracelets they sent me and it kind of just reminds me of those gold bracelets that we had when we were babies do you guys remember that did your parents ever put those on you i've been rocking these hoops which are also from d sorrel and they're just these little gold chunky hoops and i love hoops like this because you can dress them up dress them down wear them every day and they don't look too you know gaudy and then there was one more thing they sent me these gorgeous bottega dupe earrings that have been literally trending everywhere these are so 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 gorgeous so a big thank you to Sorel. then we have some pr from morphe and this is morphe 2 which is now available to buy in super drug so a big thank you to morphe for sending this out we have this quad goals multi palette in oh so nude i have no idea what this is look at this gorgeous gorgeous color right here this is like a champagne -y color and then what else did we get we got an actual eyeshadow palette some beautiful pinks i think i'm gonna play around with that next week this is so gorgeous it's a gel liner in power off oh so it's just a black liner then we've got this lipstick called pink pucker i've really been getting into lipsticks recently putting lipsticks underneath my gloss oh this looks like a really good like natural your lips but better kind of color and this is like a beautiful green color oh i definitely want to play around with that and then we've got some gifting from urban decay big thank you to urban decay for sending this out and they sent me their new hydromaniac blush glow hydrator and they're basically liquid blushes oh that looks good that one there usually not a liquid blush kind of girl i don't know i've just never really I love a powder blush but these are gorgeous I really want to play around with these and then we've got this color and this is called Rex it's getting a bit cold so I'm gonna put my lovely robe on this robe and this hat make zero sense but we're rocking with it anyway I wanted to show you guys the bits I got from Style Pro when I went to the event that was at the beginning of this vlog. This bag has defo seen better days. But I'm going to show you guys the stuff anyway. Oh, this is where my Easter card is. Jesus, bloody hell. Style Pro Easy on the Eye Cleanser. Ergonomic Nail File. Style Pro Fabulous Firma a neck and face smoother it rejuvenates your skin's overall appearance helps stimulate collagen and elastin production helps reduce inflammation acne and redness this looks really good 12 me up lead handheld compact mirror flip and charge power bank compact led mirror that's very interesting then i went to the nyx nyx event the other day i received a load of goodies in here that i cannot wait to try i was looking in there um earlier i saw this and it's a lip liner i was like oh anytime i see a brown lip liner i'm all over it so this is the nyx line loud lip pencil and this is in the shade rebel kind and guys this is so amazing this is what it looks like and i'm just going to swatch it for you guys here 
and it's so good this is so good that is everything that i have to show you guys now i have a big puddle of products around really really hope you guys enjoyed the most random vlog ever if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please do not forget to subscribe please click that like button if you guys enjoy this type of content it lets me know and lets youtube know that you guys are actually liking this content so i can appear on your home screens because if you know a youtuber out there pray for us because youtube is moving a little bit crazy right now i have a whole load of videos that you will see somewhere on the screen in like how many seconds when this video ends go and watch that my pretty little thing haul go and watch that as well i don't know and that's probably a sign i should stop talking anyways i love you guys lots and i will see you guys in the next one my